People who say chat GPT is getting dumber what do you use it for? I use it for software development. I don't notice any degradation in answer quality in fact. I would say it improved somewhat. I hear the same from people at work. I specifically find it useful for debugging where I just copy paste entire error prompts and it generally has a solution if not we'll get to it in a round or two. However, I'm also sure if a bunch of people claim that it is getting worse. Something is definitely going on. Edit I've skimmed through some replies. Seems like general coding is still going strong. But it has weakened in knowledge retrieval hallucinating new facts. Creative tasks like creative writing. Idea generation or out-of-the-box logic questions have severely suffered recently. Also, I see some significant numbers claiming the quality of the responses are also down. With either shorter responses or meaningless filler content. I'm inclined to think that whatever additional training or modifications GPT is getting. It might have passed diminishing returns and now is negative. Quite surprising to see because if you read the Lama 2 papers, they claim they never actually hit the limit with the training so that model should be expected to increase in quality over time. We won't really know unless they open source GPT-4. For myself, I use it for a lot of things. 1. Super Google or Super Wikipedia. Looking up quick. Easy to read answers on various things subjects. 2. Study Buddy. For learning the basics on various academic subjects. Somewhat similar to above. 3. Advice Giver. 4. Assistant for my fantasy writing projects alternate history theorems. 5. Editor Grammar Checker for comments. 6. Writing Assistant to help make meme copypastas. I don't use it for coding or scientific mathematical formulae. Most of the posts I've seen that complain about it getting worse fall in two categories. 1. Trying to jailbreak it. I never tried. But I assume it's getting better at resisting those attempts. 2. Maths. GPT was never good at maths. LLMs are inherently not good at maths. It's good to know chat GPT is going through the same shit as the rest of us. Dealing with dumb people all day every day takes its toll. I am a Creston certified dealer and technician. When it was first released it was actually quite good at troubleshooting assistance. As time went on the LLM became more and more insistent that I contact a certified Creston technician or to contact Creston directly. The output quality degraded and I have to constantly remind it that I am certified and stick to its role as support agent. It would be nice to be able to create profiles to keep it in a certain mode so I don't have to argue with it constantly. I don't have any basis for comparison. But it appeared to find and point out a fix for a pretty hideous array of classes with pointers to pointers to functions in C I had going on. It got too big and I couldn't figure out where I made the mistake. But GPT-4 was like oh yeah. Right there you for aid up that pointer. They're chasing a high. They tried it once and it was magical. Magical is the new normal. So it's not magical anymore. I use it to make PowerShell scripts. Generate large sets of SQL parameters. Explain cron jobs and write ACK commands and SQL scripts. It's helpful that way. Some things it's still bad at like placing a try catch in the correct place. Office scripts it's failing consistently but maybe because the stuff is too new for its data set. I have a hypothesis. Hear me out the users have already lost some of their personal faculties from relying on chat GPT. It's a hypothesis. 
Not a declaration of fact but nonetheless I shall brace for the down votes. I'm a copywriter for a PR and digital marketing agency. My team and I have all been told to focus on Claude instead. Partially. Probably. Because of this. But I think most of the reason is that chat GPT subscriptions are horribly short so we keep having to renew. And I don't think management are liking it. Programming also. It's back in a good place though. When I last complained 3.5 was outperforming 4 on the workload I was giving it. Hardly anything controversial and or about software development and logic-centered work. People that are using it for critical thinking. Theory. Idea generation. Proposals. Writing. Screenplays. World building. Sociology. Psychology etc etc are the ones experience the degradation. That you haven't experienced any pushback is hardly shocking to anyone but you and the dregs. Saying it still works perfect for what I'm doing. It used to be handle long sections of text and remember instructions better. For example, I could put in maybe 10,000 words broken up over four or five sections and tell it to wait until the entire Text was inputted before putting it all together and working with it. Now it forgets the instructions and seemingly forgets chunks of the text earlier. It continually apologizes when I point it out. Considering I never saw it apologize to me earlier that's a pretty good indication something has changed. I've never noticed any issues. I do wonder if what we are seeing is an escalation of its use though for more and more complicated use cases. I think as people become more familiar, they are more likely to push the boundaries of what they want ChatGPT to do. Personally, I use ChatGPT as a programming mentor as well as to pose as a subject matter expert in a field of science or history. It does just as well as it always has. For me. Attention serious tag notice. Jokes. Puns. And off-topic comments are not permitted in any comment. Parent or child. Help us by reporting comments that violate these rules. Posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit message compose. To our chat GPT if you have any questions or concerns. It's just the fact that OpenAI are trying to make it more restrictive. I find a lot of the time I ask it for some quick and dirty HTML code it'll say oh I can't directly. Write HTML code for you and I'm just like what the FK. Yes you can. Constantly hallucinates while programming. It doesn't answer the whole problem anymore. It's like it was instructed to only answer 10 of the problem at a time. And it needs to be reprompted over and over. It told me once when I yelled at it that it was reminded it was for chats and not for answer generation. I would bet that it was to one increase usage. Two overall nerf the system so competitors can catch up. And three slow the replacement of human employees by AI. They probably try to spec into code helping solution just because code can't offend anyone. I use it to help me code in Python and VBA. It used to be so awesome now it constantly forgets ignores previously stated requirements. Uses very flawed logic. And is very apprehensive to make worthwhile suggestions. I use for coding projects. I can confirm, it's gotten dumber.